All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, we're going to be watching a video. We're going to watch half of it. We're not going to watch all of it. You know, um, Mace and Cameron, you know what I'm saying, talking about Jay Prince. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. I want y'all to see this. Um, if y'all want to see the full video, of course, y'all going to have to go on their page. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Hey, man, listen. If I haven't earned your subscription today, I hope I do. I don't sell merch, but I do have content. If you would like to donate to the channel, Cash App will be on the screen. If you don't, it's cool. As long as you're here, that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? So look, I want to say something. All the beautiful girls that comment on my videos, put a one in the chat. If you're ugly, don't put a one, please. But if you are beautiful and you're self-confident and you're gorgeous, put a one in the chat. So I'll see. You know what I'm saying? So I can see who's confident, who's not. Don't listen to me. You think you're beautiful, put a one in the chat. All right, man. So let's get to it. Let's do it. <laughs> So let's get straight to it. A lot of comments were made. And so I definitely <laughs> want you guys' response to what people had to say. So first, we're going to start with Jay Prince. So he had a message for both of you guys after the comments. He had a message for who? For you and for you. Mm. Both of y'all. For me? <laughs> after, <laughs> yeah. Specifically. Because <laughs> um, he added y'all. Jay Prince has a message for both of y'all with your comments after what you guys had to say about Shakur. He said, numbers don't lie, haters do. Let their haters say that he's boring and nobody wants to watch him. Sorry to tell you, it's just a select few of you haters. As you can see, there's proof that he has the number one ratings in any fight on ESPN this year, the top three ratings since 2022. And to all of you haters who want to escalate that hate outside of the ring, I'm Shakur's manager and I handle all his business outside of the ring. In other words, Cam and Mace, I will fade all his shots and take all bets. <laughs> all right man look i'm just gonna be clear here and i'm gonna be honest right i don't understand why people get so upset because of people's opinion you know what i'm saying if shakur stevenson is a boring boxer why do people get so upset and not even just shakur stevenson let's just say sports in general why do athletes, listen, you are an athlete. You're not going to always appeal to everybody. You're not. Sometimes people, you could do everything right. And people still going to have something to say about you. So I don't understand this whole thing where people get online and at people. I'm sure people have people phone number and they can literally call a person. But sometimes I think people do this to hype up people, not necessarily mean that they actually going to do what they say they're going to do. And I know this person, he is a gangster. So he, he, he stands on what he's saying. I know his history, but I'm saying sometimes people do that to get more eyes on their fighter or whoever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. You going to take all his fades and, and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring. All right. So then we talking to you then. All right. <laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so like lacking self-awareness like when you when you give such a lackluster performance and then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance pause you don't have the right to tell me what i should like or to tell cam what he should like that's that's not your place like art is subjective right so if art is subjective and I don't like something. You you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there with two, I mean, two Hall of Fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go. So I think it's, it's crazy that Andre Ward let his hands go 
Terrence Crawford definitely let his hands go. And then you walk out with these boxes and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go. This is this is a, a lapse of judgment. And I'm going to tell you another thing. When you're dealing with older people, they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We're not your little niggas. Like, yo, that's crazy. That's a fact, though. You can't lie about it. That's a fact. We all older. Not we. I'm not putting myself into it, but I'm saying like I understand where you're coming from. We not no little niggas. We not no young niggas. We we grown. You can't son me. Like, what are we talking about here? We grown. For real, all that big homie stuff, that's for little <laughs> niggas. Little niggas have big homies. We're not little niggas, so we don't even respect big homies. I know Killer doesn't, and for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Mace, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like, I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a lord, like the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Around here... We don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm -hmm. You got to put in your own work around here, Lord, man. That's what you were supposed to tell them. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out, and just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars... He make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street nigga, <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. Mm. See? Damn, that's some harsh. That's some hard <laughs> words right there. <laughs> Damn. So you sixty, you still trying to be a street nigga? You failed. I can't, that's that's facts though. I mean, some people they they will never give it up. But if you still doing like street shit and you older, yeah, man, you gotta you gotta chill, man. It's, it's gotta be a time where you know things change. We're gonna watch a little bit what it can what Cam say and then. Y'all can go watch the rest on the show. That's the murder. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with you right there. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's the... mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. You can't be 60 years old still trying to be a street I, nigga I, I, killer. I know they... they they just don't know you like that. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know you like that. I know. Mm. I think. I think real quick though. I think. And Jay Prince, he said it. I mean, I, he said it. I, I just don't even figure out what the fuck. The, I don't know what the slang mean. I don't know what the face in the back, but I take the back. Whatever the bet, I take. I like that murder. Yeah, I, like I mean, because. When you think about it, right? Yes, I know. She got more. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you think, because I just, I just was with Kanye a while ago, and and we called Jay Prince on a, on a, um Facetime, so mm -hmm. he was like, you know, y'all getting together good. So I don't even know why he would come at me with that energy. You know what I'm saying? I was really, I felt really disrespected by him doing it. Right. There's certain people you're supposed to come at like that, and I'm not one of them. Well, let me ask you a couple questions that yeah. since we here. I'm going to give him my broadcast shit. So murder. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel him coming at yourself and Cameron and didn't say anything to Kendrick Lamar about the Drake situation? Because anytime Drake has a problem, it seems like he runs and tells niggas, yo, puff. Yo, niggas, niggas, niggas Drake, nigga, yeah, he, nigga. How, do you, how does How does he feel... How do you feel? I mean, I want you to answer, yeah. but how do you feel about him calling you and your partner out and didn't say anything about that? 
you 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 said something really profound. He said something to Puff, right? Mm -hmm. He said nothing to Kendrick. Right. He says something, and I know you're gonna elaborate about this later. He says something to the dudes in New York, but he and that ain't really go over well. As far as what? Um, whatever kid that was oh, yeah, that yeah. got the chain taken. Right. right. And then he and you're gonna talk about all this. So I'm gonna let you talk about it more in detail, but he didn't say nothing to whack. Like mm -hmm. it's like so when you come talking to me, I feel like you're very selective. This is exactly what I meant last week when I was talking about street niggas being selective. Mm -hmm. They got select selections of who they think they're going to get tough with. So I feel there's a must for me to say something because you can't be selective with us because we're not we're not we're not the weakest on the on the chart to deal that with. We, right. we do commentating. That's what we keep it there. But we, you know. Cigars. Okay, okay. Cigarettes. Yeah. Well, just Uka. Yeah. Yeah. Vapes. Grape, strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, coconut. Yeah. Paws. <laughs> lavender. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. dug no smoke. Yeah, no, so just to elaborate. No, I'm in bro, I'm in interview mode since you're gonna yeah. go this route this morning. Yeah. He did say something back to Wack, but Wack said most some of the most disrespectful shit I ever heard. Yeah. It, I've been doing this twenty seven years. Uh it, it was wild. I'm, it's so disrespectful. I'm not going to repeat it. Mm -hmm. But he squashed it after, like, for Wack would have said that. I mean, and, I, and I'm broadcast cam right now. I don't know if it couldn't have been settled, but I, I can't be cool with you after you just said what you said. Yeah. Like it was really bad. Matter of fact, matter of <laughs> fact, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to interview now, Killer. Tell me how okay. you would really say it. <laughs> All I should be going viral real quick, just so before I even get to the J Prince shit. All I should go viral so niggas never see how this started. They only see how I be getting finished. So the, for the people that's catching up on this who have no idea how this started, we gave our opinion of the fight. We said the shit was boring. All of us said it was boring. It's a hundred niggas saying it's boring. But because I should go viral, niggas think that they can Yo, that fight was boring. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Niggas said, it was a hundred niggas that said it was boring. It was boring. Keep enough. talking to us. Shakur Stevenson told us to get the strap <laughs> or strap up or better yet, put the gloves on so he... Bro, come on, Shakur. What you mean, get the strap? <laughs> come on, bro. You a professional boxer. <laughs> Tell the niggas to get the strap. You a professional boxer, bro. You gonna throw all that away for what? Like, yo, you niggas is wild funny, man. Oh, my God. Could fight us. We said what he said, and then he started going crazy. Everything was over with. Me, personally, I'm sick of it, before I even address the J. Princeton. I'm sick of it. I left it alone. We have not talked about a nigga this much before his fights or after his fights, and none of his fights. However many fights he had in his career. This is the most traction I, the nigga ever got. My nigga, I had a meeting on... Friday, this is no cap, with some, some of my Jewish partners. Shout out to Shapiro's, I won't give you first name, shout out to my partners. Before the meeting started, they asked me, Murder, wh why are you arguing with Tupac's son, Cam? I said, what are you talking about? He said, no, we... Yo, that's funny as shit. <laughs> he said, why are you arguing with Tupac's son? Yo, that is hilarious. In the media, you're arguing with, with ain't that Tupac's son? I said, that, that's not, it's a, no, his first name is Shakur, not like, he said, well, what does he do? I said, no, never mind, never mind. They didn't even know, they yeah. never heard of the nigga. Yeah. But because we keep talking about the nigga. We don't like, keep talking about we, the nigga. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't know what it is. Our clips go viral all week. So yeah. it don't stop. It ain't, once we say it, it's viral all week. Oh, okay. So word to everything I love. I swear to God, after I got off that meeting, I said to myself, I'm leaving this shit alone, bro, because niggas don't even know this nigga. You don't know. I'm, I don't mind. Keep going. Yeah. But I'm like, this don't make no sense. So what happened is Saturday night, I guess they interviewed him. And he was like, yeah, hey, is everything cool with you and Mason? 
with Mason Cam and all that, da, da, da. Fuck them bitch-ass niggas. Them niggas are still bitch-ass niggas. Ain't nothing changed. This is what he says Saturday night. This is a week after the fight. <laughs> so the niggas who run my social media page, our social media page, they got the same uh, humor that we got. Yeah. <laughs> they start putting up pictures of him when he's crying the Olympics, whatever, whatever. The next day is when Jay Prince just say what she wrote. Hey, yo, my man, listen, James. Let me explain something to you, bro. <laughs> May said it exactly. You 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro, I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you lying, um, young boy, young BA, yeah. Why the fuck you got Shakur with you? And this is why he acted like that. This is exactly why he acted like that. Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas in his keys to car. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wild disrespectful. I ain't even gonna repeat the shit Wack 100 said. Mad disrespectful. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got into some shit and I hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say, my nigga. Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody going to tell a nigga, get the strap, and then we going to sit there and be like, hey, hey, I think we, we should shut up. Nah, nigga. This ain't, no, this is not 1982, bro. You cannot sit here and tell niggas, get the strap, and then niggas be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging. You bugging, James. You bugging, my nigga. And I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know what bet you talking about or all that other slang down. Bet it. Whatever bet you talking about, bet it. I don't know what's bet it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That was pretty, pretty interesting. And <laughs> um, I think that uh, some people, I just think some people just need to just leave things alone. You know what I'm saying? And I think Shakur... He implementing himself into stuff. You a professional fighter, dog. Like he said, art is subjective. So art is subjective. You got to understand. Some people just not going to like your fights. Your fights are boring, bro. I'm just, I'm just going to be 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you ain't, you don't really have any excitement. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm all into boxing, too. So I just think if you fight tank, you're going to get demolished. That's just that. But. Outside of that, the thing with Jay Prince, I mean, I know Jay Prince has a reputation and everybody, you know, respects Jay Prince, but they 100 percent correct about that. Jay Prince didn't say anything when it came to Kendrick. And I said that to one of my boys. I said, yo. Why you think Jay Prince ain't step in? Nobody stepped in. Nobody said nothing. I mean, I know it goes a little bit deeper than that because some people have ties to other people. And Drake is really not tied to anybody. He's the money. He's money, but he's not tied to anybody. So he is, Drake is more expendable than anybody else because most of these people, they already got paid off of him anyway. And I mean, obviously if something happened, they're going to keep getting paid off of him, but nothing's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? To either him or him. So I'm just going to say, I get the frustration from Cam and Mace, they have a talk show and they 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 should be able to talk about whoever they want to talk about and not get pushback like being threatened or something. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as Jay Prince goes, um, I don't know, man. I just think that sometimes some people, you know, they do things to heighten up or get get more eyes on their people. You know what I'm saying? So either way. It is what it is. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe, man. Love y'all guys, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. I'm out of here. <laughs>